Hey guys, it's Madel here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing a tutorial video on how to use the Minecraft Blender rig. So if you've seen on my videos, I have a Minecraft character that you know is in a certain position. So if you do YouTube or if you're new to YouTube and you do Minecraft and you want to put a cool Minecraft character on your thumbnail, like I never used to know how to do, I used to just take a screenshot of myself and then crop it and put it in. But this is how you do it. This is free and it's quite easy once you get how to do it. So I'm going to be showing you all today. I also wanted to make this video because I made a video about this four months ago and it got a thousand views and everyone seemed to find it reasonably helpful but a few people didn't know what to do because I'm very bad at explaining but I'm going to try a lot better this time and hopefully you guys will learn something from this. So you go to this site, this link will be in the description so it is a safe site so it's okay to download it from here so you come onto the site, make sure you're in the download section and then you, and then you scroll down and you can go installer installer and it automatically downloads from there it will take a reasonable amount of time but in this time you can also download the other things that you'll need for this so the next thing that you'll need for this is WinRAR so this is a safe set as well so don't worry about that but this is where you get WinRAR files so you can view your files and transport them a lot easier it's, I'll show you how to use it later it, I was very confused when I first got it but I'll try to make it as easy as possible so you scroll down to whatever language that you use. Um, I'm going to choose English because it's the only language that I know fluent, fl fluently. So you have to choose either 64-bit or 32-bit um, computer. Now, this is your processing system. Honestly, I don't know what happens if you click the wrong one because my computer is 64, but I have 32-bit stuff. So I'm just going to click the 64 one, but it doesn't really matter for me. And it will start downloading in your download bar. Now you're probably wondering where's the Minecraft character because you obviously need to get a Minecraft character for this all to work. So now this is called the Timmy's Minecraft character rig. So this makes you have your person. You can change it to whatever skin you want, but it starts off as a boy. And you scroll down. There's also another tutorial here. Make sure you download the version 4 one instead of the other one. Now if you're an Internet Explorer, so your downloads don't come up at the bottom or something like that. If your downloads don't come up, you can go into like a side option. I'm sure it has it on Internet. And then there should be like a downloads area where you can find it from there and use it. <laughs> Okay guys, so now everything has downloaded as you can see here. Blender's downloaded, WinRAR's downloaded and the Minecraft character Timmy's Rig has downloaded. So the first thing you want to do is you want to run Blender. Okay, so you run that and then you shall just run it, put it into a document and install it. I already have it installed so I can just open it right here but it will be in your downloads folder and you can drag it and put it on your desktop. Any way you want. Any way you want, you can have it in a folder. So now you have this. This is what you'll open up to. So it'll have this weird cube thing. And some, this is the camera over here. It's very confusing when you first get it. So what you want to do now is you want to go back to your internet. And you want to open up your Timmy's. Okay, so now it has installed. You can click open. And it will come off this. You can just click delete that. And then it'll have two fi files. So it'll have... They basically look identical apart from the numbers. So then you want to open up your blender and open up your rig, which will say this at the top. Then you want to get the bottom one that has the least amount of numbers and just left click it, hold it. So go on top of it, left click, and then just drag it in and drop it over. And then it'll come up with this. So you can play around with the settings, move it out so you can like see it better and stuff. Then what you can do is you have to click Reload Trusted at the top and click Revert. Now this will make it so that I don't even know what that does, but it works, okay? So now what you want to do is you want to right click with your mouse or your keypad on the head. And now this will take you to some more selections about how to change it to look like your own skin. So now what you want to do is you want to go over, you see these down the bottom here, you want to go over to this here, this like cream colored ball and you want to click on that. But now you have it selected on the ball so you can scroll down 
and get to the part where you see this. This is the skin that is on there right now and you want to click X. This will make the skin completely white, but that's don't worry about that, that's normal. So then you click open and it'll take you to all your folders and you find the skin that where you've saved your Minecraft skin. You have to have it as a skin format. I'll put an example up on the screen. And then you just go get your skin and download it. So here is my skin. You won't see the top layer of your skin, so it's cut off my pug onesie, but that's fine. It'll all show up when it's done. So now what you want to do is I'll teach you how to move around and stuff and get everything so that you can use it. So if you're using a mouse, I, I don't think you can do this properly without a mouse. I'm sure there's some way you can do it. But what you want to do is you can use the scrolling button to scroll in and out. And if you want to like move the screen over like this, what you have to do is you hold the scroll button down and you can move woo, like that. And that's basically the controls for this. Now the thing you want to do is you've seen this maybe thing over here. This is the camera. Now this is so that if you can position it whatever you want so that you can put your um, how you want your Minecraft character to look in your thumbnail. So what you want to do is you want to go up right hold down right click. So hover over it and so select it with your right click and then drag it with right click and you can move it over. It is a bit fiddly and then you can move it down. So when you finish with it right click out of it then click left click and it will secure it in place now to also make it face your minecraft character you want to click r on your keyboard and this will position it this way so then you can get it to an even level and then you click r twice it'll take you to this other setting that you can use to just figure around with it and make it point at your minecraft character you can make it really close in or you can make it pretty far away as long as it gets in the gets in the picture okay now i think i've got mine all sorted make sure that it does position your character and make sure it's facing the right way because there has been so many times where i've made it face the complete wrong way but this is when i was first starting but so now it's pointing towards you might want to fiddle around with it a little more so to make sure that it does fit and everything so I think I am pretty okay with that right now. So now you can zoom in past the camera and get to your character. So if you want to have like a position, so maybe like your character has his arms out or is looking somewhere or his legs are going everywhere, what you have to do is you right click on wherever you want to move something and then you just click R and this will move it up, move your arm up or you could use the other R and this will just make it go straight up. So now you have your character with a bent arm. You can also do that to the other arm if you want, just by clicking R once or twice. So there you have that. Now if you want your arm to like move outwards, so like you're moving your arm sideways, you want to click to the top part of the arm with right click, always using right click and then left click to, to secure it. And you can click R once to move it this way, or you can, and then you press left if you want to secure it in that place. And then you click R twice if you want to move it outwards. So I think I'm going to keep mine like that. You can also do the same thing to the other arm if you want to. Okay, so now we can move on to the body. If you want the body to be like slanted in some position, you can click R once to move it sideways. Like I always love playing around because it's so fun. But if you want it just to be a little bit sideways, you can just left click it and it'll stay in the place. And if you double tap it, then you can make it bend forward, which I think looks very cool. So I'm going to make mine bend like that. Then you can go down towards the legs and it, the legs are a little bit fiddly because you can actually make your skin move and stuff. So you want to make sure that you select the leg, not something different. I think you have to select these little things here and then you can make your leg move by pulling it. So hold down right click and you can pull your leg up and make it bend and stuff. It's really fun just holding down the right click and moving it around. And then you can let go of the right click and press left click and it will stay in that place. Now if you want your whole character to move a different direction, all you have to do is click down here and you can move it up and then you can right click it, move it that way so it can be lying down and then you can click R again and it will make it go backwards or forwards. So I think I'm going to keep mine like that and then you can also change the head. So all you have to do is right click on the head and press R once to make it go sideways like this. Or click R twice and you can make it go up and down. So I think I'm going to keep mine like that. So now you have your skin in the position you want. You can fiddle around with it for a bit. Like I, when I did this, it took me like 
30 minutes to make one and I'll put a picture up on the screen because I still have it the first one I made it, I was so bad at it and I had no idea what I was doing but now so we've got this done we've got the camera in position everything is set up and fine so now you want to go over to your sidebar and you'll see this little camera that's the first option in this tool, toolbars and you all you have to click is camera and then you want to scroll down all the way down and you'll see this thing called transparent. Now, if you want to have like a Minecraft background or some something in the background behind your skin, you want to click transparent. If you want to have a white background, background, don't click this. But I'm going to click it because obviously if you want to make a thumbnail, you want to have something different in the background, not just white. So then when, once you've done that, you don't have to click anything else but scroll up and then go to render. And all you have to do is click that once and it will start rendering your project. Now you'll start to see it appear here if it worked properly. Mine likes to lag out now and it takes a very long time to load because I have a very bad computer, but I will be back when it is done. Okay, so now you have the render done. I did cut off my head just a little bit. That was my mistake. So you have to fiddle around with the camera a little bit to make sure that you get the right angle for it. But I decided to go for a front angle. So now when you're done, you'll see these. This will not come up. This is just the transparency around it. And then you can click image and go save as image. And then you just select where you want to put it. I'm going to put it in my renders folder and name it. Um, what can I name it? Pugly. <laughs> Pugly. And then click save as image and now it's saved. So I like to use a program called PicMonkey. This is what I always use to um, make my thumbnails. Now I'm not going to give you a whole tutorial on how I make my thumbnails today. But all I do is click design and then click overlays and you can open, go to the folder where you saved your render and search for it in the search bar or you could find it. I think I called it Pugly. Here it is, Pugly. This is the one I made. So then you can move it around so that you, the size you want to get it. But then you can add some text and put a background with more overlays. And yeah, so that's the render tutorial. Da 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 da. Okay, guys, so that's the end of this tutorial. Hope you did enjoy it and I hope you figured it all out. If you do want a tutorial on how I do my thumbnails, please leave that in the description. I'll do them as best as I can. So please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy and you learned something or you just liked the video. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.